Okay, welcome to King's Quest 2. It is copyright by some stuff, and we are going to try to run through it. It's been some time, but I love this intro. Not that one. This. Oh, the preserve one. I'm going to tone it down a little so it's not too loud. King's Quest 2, Romancing the Stones. We'll begin the game. A day's journeying from Daventry has found you by the shores of Kalima. Your ship, the Grand Thethor, and its crew have deposited you and will return the day after tomorrow. Hopefully, this will give you enough time to locate and release the imprisoned woman you saw in the magic mirror. <sighs> well, obviously, we skipped the beginning, and we are not going to see this one with the magic mirror. I'm going to lower the sound, definitely the music, keep the speech a little high, and raise the game. I'll save it. I'm going to do some deleting here. Make room for our new adventure. Um, it's been a few years since I'd played this. This is the, um, Adventure Game Studio cover of it. And it's beautiful. They put a lot of effort in. We're gonna call it The Quest. Alright, here we go. There goes the boat. We'll look at it. Your vessel has safely transported you from your homeland of Daventry finally depositing you on this pier in the land of Kalima. As you watch the flagship of your fleet depart with pride, you also sense anxiety building within you. Once it is gone, you will be quite alone in this country. Well, if there is no one else in this country, I suppose that would be true. Water looks good. I saw a net down there. We're probably going to want to run. Let's raise the game speed a little. Alright, let's go. Come on, King. Which one's this? Graham? Yeah. It's not Alexander. So he's working his way out there. Let's eyeball it first. A net has been caught around one of the piers pylon. Ooh, we'll have to fix that. Not because I like nets, but because, you know, some fish could get caught up in it. I guess it takes a while to swim out there. Alright, now grab it. You untangle the net from the pylon and take it with you. Excellent, a net. Now back to shore. He is swimming nice and slowly. Full game speed. But... I like it like this, it's comfortable. Sometimes things happen a bit too fast. Let's go on land. So, apparently we are looking for this woman in the mirror. Let's try to go up the beach or this way first. Okay, let's way first. There's Possum's house. Let's check it out. We don't know that yet, but here's a house. I'll have a good look at it. The door of the little cottage is kept closed. You decide to respect that. But I'll still knock. However respect that is. You right. attempt to open the door, but find oh, wait, it is locked. Even knocking. You think you can hear the sound of labored breathing inside, and decide against causing... Oh. Well, at first I went to open it for no reason, and then it sounded like someone was struggling to live inside, so I decided to let them be. Let's see what's in their mailbox. You open the mailbox. Inside, there is, incredibly, a letter addressed to the resident. You decide to leave it in there. A card has been dropped in it also. You read it. Yeah, why wouldn't I just read it? Have you been missing church services lately? How long a while since your last confession? There is still time yet to repent your sins before the final hour. Come to the Church of Kalima. Pray for your own salvation. Or just make a donation. Whichever. Put your faith back into the church, and walk the path that has been laid down before you, hours from dusk till dawn. Creepy. You replace the car. 
Those are some uh, vampire hours, aren't they? Oh, suddenly everything's moving fast. This is a good time to save. Quest Q. And take a break.